Well, we never could shake them tonight. It was a basketball club. They hung in there, um, found a way to kind of match the game, our style in the second, third, uh, se uh, third and fourth quarter. Um, hard for us to stay focused tonight. I just felt like we um, got uh, distracted by a variety of things. Concerned about uh, Andrew. He's got some, uh, I don't know what we're going to call that injury. I think it's probably a strain of the Achilles. Maybe you guys even have something. Um, the medical staff is giving you, but you're a little concerned, you will probably miss a little while. Bill, how would you assess tonight's game as now that you're back at home and coming off of the road? How do you feel that you guys have improved since being on the road now back at home for two games? I, I couldn't make that assessment on this game. It was, um, you know, we, we had to pow out yesterday. Fish uh, didn't practice uh, since he had a slight injury in the Sacramento game. So, uh, you know, we really haven't had the kind of uh, structure that we have to have to make an assessment about where we're at right now. We need to get guys back on the court and do that. But we'll have to, you know, use our practice tomorrow to kind of reassess how we're going to play without Andrew for a little bit here uh, talk about, as we go forward. Talk about the distractions. You mentioned distractions. Anything yeah, particularly? Just, well, I thought we tried to do too much with the ball and end up turning it over and, and you know, after a real good first quarter, a lot of them come back and win the second quarter. Those little things are important uh, against a team is just to continue uh, to win quarter after quarter. <clears throat> and uh, you know, consequently, we played even the rest of the game. Phil, the way you've been playing Bynum, what will you miss the most about him? The offense, the defense, the rebounding, what's the biggest adjustment you'll make? He gets easy baskets for us. Uh, you know, he's obviously a big body and you know, can, can get things accomplished by plugging the lane and things, but uh, he, gets, he gets easy baskets. He, uh, well, it's obvious he shoots almost 60% from the field, so. You know, six out of ten times he gets the ball and shoots it, he's going to score. That, that point you talked about where you're starting to feel like people may be distracted, they're concerned about Andrew. Did, did you actually address it at all at any point during the game? You know, you can't yep. be thinking about it? Oh, it wasn't about Andrew. They weren't, it wasn't their distraction about Andrew. They, I must have had a run on since. There's their distraction about not staying focused about what was going on in the game. So, so you don't think it was about that at all? No. Phil, are you concerned that a part of the game that just was seem, seeming to fall into place is now interrupted because you know because you lose a you lose Andrew. Yeah, but you know um, we really know how to play without Andrew. We've done a lot. We've gone through playoffs, you know, etc. So you know we're okay in that regard. It's about the support system behind that. You know, Lamar, you know, hurt his shoulder tonight. He's got a little bit of a, a shoulder thing going on. I took him out. You know, that took another guy out of the lineup and so forth. You know, that that's the kind of thing that bothers the team. How concerned are you about Derek? He only played in 16. He's going to be all right. Was yeah. that just he, he, because? Or? Yeah, he just had a, he just got a jarring blow and, you know, it's more recovery. I think you know, it'll take him another day or two and he'll be back in form. Coach, how often have you played against uh, a triangle offense or a version of it? And, and how does that how does that feel for you to play against something like that? Well, pro probably uh, upwards to a dozen times, you know. Jim Clemens was a coach in Dallas. Bill Cartwright was coach in Chicago Bulls, etc. You know, we've, we've had um, a number of opportunities to do that. Um, and both of us, you know, had a little mirrored execution out there defensively, too. And so, knowing what was going on. Uh, you had mentioned at practice recently wanting to get more minutes for Josh, TJ, find opportunities for him. How did you feel they responded tonight? Okay, I think they're you know a little rusty. I think, I think uh, uh, you know DJ did fine. You know he took a shot that was probably out of context of what you know was going on at the time. Although he can shoot that shot, it wasn't the right time. So you know other than that, um, you know Josh had some bunnies in there and some free throws that he, he couldn't complete, but you know he gives effort. What kind of impact does uh, Kobe passing the ball like he did have on the offense? It seemed like at least early on it kind of got everyone passing the ball. Well. 
he tried to get other guys involved in it. You know, Ron didn't hit the shots, Fish didn't hit the shots. You know, so you know, it wasn't that successful. If some of those guys hit a shot, they probably had 20 assists tonight rather than 13. But, <laughs> um, you know, it's always a good sight, you know, good energy for the team. And I, I like it out of the context of the offense. Sometimes he gets carried away out there and doesn't do it in the context of the offense. But, you know, that sometimes ends up in turnovers or runouts because of it. But, you know, tonight a lot of things happen around it. Can you Any talk thoughts about on the clinching of playoffs, Bob? What's that? Any thoughts on clinching of playoffs, Bob? Yeah, it's interesting. It's you know, it'd be different. It was an elimination of a team, but you know, this is just about us. Um, so, I mean, it's a good deal for our organization. It's a good deal for our fan court. Can you talk about the offensive efficiency and the balance in the scoring with the uh, starting lineup and the uh, bench? No, we shot poorly tonight. I mean, our shooting percent was forty-two percent or something. It's not a good percentage at all. Uh, you know, we had wide open shots, guys didn't make it. We couldn't hit anything to start in the third quarter where we have a 19 point third quarter. You know, that's not the way a team's supposed to play at this level. So I wasn't happy with that. But then we got defensively, we got going, and uh, you know, ended up you know, coming out of that quarter with the same lead we went into the quarter with after uh, you know, they tied the game and took a lead. Um, you know, so they, they got the message that it's about defense, it's about playing defense, and their defense is what changed the course of the game. Before the game, you said that. That brought the offense is going through the post, uh, but it could shift to Kobe, you know, the, the turn in the bed. And with Biden being out, could that shift it more back on shoulder, Kobe's shoulders again? Well, we don't get anything accomplished in there. I mean, uh, I think Powell only had a couple opportunities in the post in the second half. Uh, the two times he had it, I mean, he was not successful. But, you know, so you have to go where success is in the course of a game.